The outbreak in the U.S. was the first time the virus had been seen in humans outside of the African continent. After the 2003 outbreak, there was much more interest in monkeypox as a, as a zoonotic disease. So we, uh, we discovered where it came from uh, in terms of the animal reservoirs. And it turns out it, it was brought to the U.S. through an exotic uh, animal shipment from West Africa. So through the exotic pet trade, these animals were brought in through Texas and distributed in the Midwest. And it turns out that one species found in North America, the prairie dog, was very susceptible to the disease. My first duty within that outbreak was to go to uh, Illinois, to the site of the uh, dealer. And we got there and it was a beautiful neighborhood, well manicured yard, literally a white picket fence. Um, and so we were looking at each other and thinking, wow, you know, this doesn't really look like a place you would call a, a hot zone. Came in and, and there, was, uh, there was some prairie dogs uh, in a cage on the floor, there were actually some Gambian rats sitting on the kitchen table. Um, so we knew that we were in the right place. Well, uh, we sent a team back uh, to try to find the source of the animals that had come here, and we did. Through the help of the people on, on the U.S. side that were actually involved in the outbreak, we were actually able to get with the exporter in Ghana that had sent the animals here, and then he helped us find the actual people in the field in these remote villages in Ghana that had collected the animals and they took us back to the same bush, the same tree, the same hole where they had collected these original original things. So we did some subsequent uh, genetic typing of the animals to make sure that they matched and uh, so we know we got to the exact same site where those animals were collected. So there are no isolated places on the planet anymore. So you can't think of a, any disease as well, it just occurs over there and it can't get over here because now that's no longer the case. Uh, you know, the, the globe is a small place now.